The next speaker will represent United Towns Agency. Honorable President, the policies that the Pakistani establishment pursues in Balochistan are absolutely detrimental for the promotion and protection of all human rights, civil, political, economic, social, cultural, including the right to development. All these rights can only be realized when the people are directly involved in decision-making and governance. Unfortunately, the present government isn't a product of electoral process, but represents a selected one. By and large, the Baloch boycotted the elections in May. The Frontier Corps and the Army manage day-to-day -day governance. In these circumstances, there can be no rights for the people. Honorable President, the curbing and the violation of human rights having intensified because the government of Nawaz Sharif wants to bequeath the resources of Baluchistan to China under the plea of developing Baluchistan via Gwadar Kashgar Energy Corridor. This blatant and brazen usurpation of Baluchistan's resources has resulted in the increased resistance and consequently the heavy hand of the government has fallen on the Baluch who do not want their resources to be misused. Promotion and protection of fundamental rights of the Baluch in their land, which was forcibly annexed by Pakistan in contravention to all agreements on 27th March 1948, can only come about when the Pakistani establishment is censured internationally and made to pay for its transgression against Baloch fundamental rights. The Council is requested to urgently consider official condemnation of human rights abuses against the Baloch in Pakistan. Honorable President, the judicial system of Pakistan has completely failed to provide justice to the people of Baluchistan. Instead of bringing perpetrators who are responsible for Baluch massacre before justice, the courts are providing them legal protection by forming so-called committees and commissions. Not a single person, civil or military, official or non-official, has ever been held on human rights abuse charges in Baluchistan. I thank you, Mr. President. I thank you. I now call Commission to the Organization of Peace. Thank you, Mr. President. My organization and I would like to express our expression for the overview of the global human rights situation presented by High Commissioner and excellent report have been prepared by Special Rapporteur and expert of the Council issue at important human rights individual and committees. My attention was specifically draw a reporter's touch upon and ensure the expertly dramatic order how to development process should be organized. Nation states have the responsibility to ensure that their citizens benefit from their development process, economic activity, just like politics activity has to take a place transparent manner with the fully participation of a citizenry. Anything less than both denial of true dramatic violation of people's rights, especially when the committees and group individual development for the opportunity and rights to ensure that natural resources available to them indeed begin to use their benefit. Other people in southern Pakistan justify the belief in their had to be thread equally by Pakistan. The answer, brought by the development of the past decades, had to be affected. Baligistan people, the largest province, yet remaining is like a protest. The mayor of natural resource gas and Baligistan has to be exploited by the rule of the country, with is very little of benefit following back to Baluk. A report by Social Policy Development Center, SPDC, in many 2030 enlisted Baligistan reporters provide of Pakistan, 45.68 percentage of population remaining below the priority line. The government Pakistan provide Balikistan has the subliminal prices of the uh, ju just uh, function of the rule the follow back the Balikistan heading of the development process. I thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.